hi everyone welcome back again to another credit tutorial and in this session we'll be discussing about how to get or how to retrieve data from a file store and display them in our flutter application so basically we'll be making use of flutter web as an example and i will be showing how to connect your flutter web application with the file store and read the data from the file store so we have a list of uh, two documents in the file store that contains the name uh, and the subtitle as uh, department and the role number so these are the data which we get from the file store and with the help of the flutter web we will be just making a connection with the flutter web application and the file store and retrieve this data and store and just display them the ui okay so let's get started with the coding part so this is our firebase console and in the firebase console you can just create a file store database by going into this file store database and inside that you can just start creating collections so a collection is nothing but a set of documents so a collection contains documents here in our case we have two documents over here and each document can contain multiple number of fields okay and document can also have collections so it might uh, loop around in a multiple ways so we our database is very simple like we have a simple collection uh, with the name students and we have two documents that is uh, you can just have them as uh, two students so the first student will be having the fields as the department the name and the role number and the next student uh, document will be having the same set of fields but they will be different values okay so this is what our firebase uh, fire store will be having so this is our data in our fire store so let us guess into how to connect this fire store with our flutter web application okay first we just need to add to package in our patch tag uh, the package is uh, cloud fire store and firebase core so just add these two packages and also check for the latest version so um, after adding this package let's move on to the main dot dot file and inside this main dot file you just need to add these two lines which is ensure initialize and initialize firebase so after adding these two set of lines in your main dot file uh, we can just uh, move on to the creation of ui building so first let me just explain you and also before that you just inside the you know, if it is a flutter web application you just you need to modify your index.html file and you just need to provide the firebase credentials so just add these two script tags and you can also add multiple number of firebase uh, services uh, depending on that you can just extend them and you can and you just need to add the firebase credentials over here and after adding this you can just close the index.html file now our flutter web application is ready to connect with the firebase now let's get started with the logic part and in our case we will be just getting the data from the firebase and nothing more than that so i have created a separate class for that function and the class is the firestore database and in this class is responsible for getting the data from firestore okay so um, as i said before the firestore will be the hierarchy will be like collections then followed by documents and followed by fields and for accessing the collection you just need to create a collection reference and pass in the collection name in our case it is students and after creating a collection reference uh, this is the function which is responsible for getting the data from the firebase which is get data so this function will be returning the set of objects that we have retrieved from the file store and uh, let me explain them so so this line is nothing but if you want to get uh, the data from particular documents that is if you want to get data from only one document or a single document then you can make use of this line and you just need to pass in the document id over here okay so by doing so you, you will be having access to a particular document alone or else if you want to iterate over the entire set of documents inside the collection then you can make use of this code snippet which i have used over here so this is what we'll be using in this video tutorial we'll be just iterating over uh, the set of all documents inside the collection and by doing so we'll be also uh, adding those uh, resultant query snapshot to the list which we have defined over here which is the student list so we'll be uh, appending the so we'll be adding the each set of values into the student list and we'll be returning that student list as a result of this get data function call okay 
so you just made a exception handling try catch and if it is an exception then we'll be just printing and return null okay so this is the basic or the core logic for getting the data from the firebase okay so now let's move on to the ui part of how to develop this list view and how to get, grab that data from this student list and display in the ui okay so then let's move on to the home page so instead the my, my home page will be having a simple app bar okay and a simple list we have just defined over here which will be making use of in the later part okay and you see the body i have made use of future builder so as you know the future builder is we'll be making use of future builder in cases where we might be or we are unaware of the code execution time so if you want to make the widget to build or render only upon certain conditions then we can make use of future builder in our case we will be making a um, get request to the five store and till that till the five store till the data is received from the five store we just need to render some other widgets and upon successful retrieval of data we just need to display data so for that condition alone we have used the future builder and the future is what I have provided is the function call which is the get data which we have already uh, just discussed before so that is the core logic of getting the data from the firebase okay and we have just separated them into two conditions that is we just made a two conditional statement that is if the snapshot has error that is if there is some error in connection in connectivity or something else then we'll be just simply returning a text stating something went wrong or else if the connection is done that is a successful return of data is made then we'll be just uh, displaying that data in the ui okay so it's, this function it is a build item is just a function which you have defined over here so this is responsible for uh, rendering the data that is the student name role number id etc okay so um, if the success is a connection is done and it is access one then we'll be just May rendering them in the UI. If both of the, if none of the conditions get satisfied, then in that case will be just returning a circular progress indicator. Okay. Hope you just understand why I have used Future Builder. Okay. So that's it, guys. It's a very simple one. That is getting data you know, from the Firebase and connecting with the Flutter web application. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do so, consider subscribing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.